I just write a code in chat. Can you yeah. just tell me the output for this? Just give me a second. Yeah. So console log one. Okay. Okay. Set time out. Console log two thousand. Okay. And there is console log of three zero. Okay. Okay, so first it will be console log one. It will okay. execute. Then it will execute console log four. Uh -huh. Then it will execute the set uh, the third line set timeout function with zero uh, milliseconds, and then a uh, thousand. Okay. Higher order functions. Higher order function is a function uh, which accepts the functions as an argument and returns a new function. For example, map, reduce. So these are the few examples. And which type of web storage are there? So types of uh, web storage. Uh, it includes session storage and local storage. Can you explain it? Which kind of scenario we are using uh, local storage and session storage with examples? If we want data to be on the server, then we use session storage. And if we want data to be on the browser, then we use local storage. What are the values like, you store in local storage? So values we do store in uh, local storage is uh, values and key. So key and value, these are the two we store in local storage. And what is cookie? So cookie, it is nothing but a a piece of information or data that a server sends to the browser, web browser. What are callback functions? So a callback function, it is a function, it is passed as an argument to any other function. So a callback function, it can run after another function has finished. So that is the main purpose. Okay. Have you ever used promises in your code? Can you explain exam with example? So promise is nothing but an object. So what it represents is the failure or completion of the asynchronous operation. So there are three states which includes pending, fulfilled and rejected. Rejected when the promise fails with an error. Fulfilled like uh, the it resolves successfully and returns a value. Whereas pending it is still in working progress. The promise. Okay. Have you ever used REST operator, REST parameter and spread operator in your code? Yes. Can you explain it example? Uh, okay, so spread uh, spread operator, what we can say. So there are two arrays, uh, A and B. Uh, there is, in A array, there is fruits, bananas. And in the second array, there is uh, mangoes and oranges. And if we want in a single array C, what we will do? C equals to... Uh, triple dot a comma triple dot b so all the values will get uh, emerged in c whereas uh, the other uh, question you asked is rest parameter uh, yeah rest parameter suppose there are large number of parameters we want to pass but uh, in short what we can do is like we will only uh, type first one with triple dot so instead of writing all those things we will only write triple dot and the first Parameter. Have you ever used uh, set timeout, set interval? So set interval, it will execute repeatedly after the interval of time. Whereas set timeout, it will execute once after the interval of time is done. Okay, so you just uh, wrote a CSS code also, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what is the difference between uh, display none and visibility hidden? So both are used for hiding the element, but display none it won't take any space in the layout. Whereas uh, in visibility hidden it will take space. The element will be hidden, but it will the element will take the space in the layout. So that is the main difference. Okay. Which version of React are you using? Uh, 16.2 So you were aware of class based components? Yes Not functional but based? No, I, I know functional based 
mostly mm-hmm. but yeah in recent project i am i have to you worked on three projects that right? in three all three projects you uh, used 16.0 or upper version of the i have used upper version uh, in two projects whereas in latest i am using the older version okay that's what i was saying yeah. so what is jsx jsx stands for javascript xml it helps us to write html in react so that is the main purpose Can web browsers read JSX directly? Browsers cannot read uh, JSX as they are not regular JS objects. So that's why Babel came into place. Babel, what it does, it transforms the JS into regular J- uh, JavaScript and HTML so that browser can understand. Okay. And what is virtual DOM? Virtual DOM, it is the copy of the real DOM. and it is used to enhance the performance so suppose a line of code is changed so what in virtual dom it will happen is it will uh, render only that line of code instead of rendering each and every line of code so which increases the performance what is the react fragment react fragments it is it allows us to group list of children without adding without adding extra nodes so it it allows us to return multiple elements from a react component okay what is the purpose of render method so uh, the render function it it was used the main purpose was to use to display the html code which was specified inside the html element difference between both application multiple application and single page application so single page application it allows us to work on one html page whereas multiple page application uh, it allows us to work on multiple web pages as it con- consists of large number of content so that is the main difference what are the different phases of react transaction uh, there will be a mounting phase there will be updating and there will be a mounting phase mm mm-hmm. so you are asking me in class or functional i am asking about functional so functional uh, w- uh so with the help of use effect we do like uh, mounting updating and unmounting we uh, so uh, in mounting we will pass function uh, then we will pass uh, in un- in updating we will pass function and dependency uh and in the third method mm, uh, unmounting so uh, we will write return method and dependency okay what is state object state it is used to store the data within the component itself whereas props it is used to transfer the data from parent component to child component that is the significant difference okay and props yeah. object props props are used to transfer the data from parent component to child component okay. uh what is the strict mode so strict mode it is it is one of the react tool it is used for mentioning or like highlighting the problems in the program uh, uh, which hooks you used other than use effect a uh, use state use reducer use ref use memo use uh, callback so these are the hooks i have used okay mm. what is prop reading so prop reading uh, it is used to uh, like uh, data has been passed from parent component component to child component then child component to its child component and so on that hierarchical way is known as uh, prop reading if i want to avoid that situation then what we use uh, we uh, use context api or we use redux okay what is it context api and redux context api it allows us to pass the data from one component to like without a hierarchical way so it avoids the problem so what it happens it allows us to create the global variable so that it any component in the tree 
can have access directly instead of passing it from one component to another and so on so directly it can be passed okay what are the components of redux uh, so there will be action store reducer this will be the three components how it works so reducer it is a pure function it will take the current state and action and it will return the new state and reducer returns the updated state based on the action whereas store it is used to store all the data within the application 